So this is a, uh, uh, let's see. I'll go back to I say just a quick one. Why the most high don't even want to deal with you two thirds? Why the elect don't even deal with you two thirds? We see y'all around the way, we see y'all walk by, and, you know, y'all agree or whatnot, or whether you disagree. If you're not striving for the truth, if you're not out on the highways and byways, if you're not, you know, searching to find the truth, to find, you know, you know who you are, and to understand the knowledge of the Yahweh Shaman, but you're simply just going to get wiped out, man. That's it. You know? Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 1 and 4, it says, I accept the nation. The people they look in their food, see the people do as children that are corruptors. They are forsaken of the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel and its enemy. They are gone and way back. Why should, why should you be stricken? That's being chastised. The Lord said, Why should I chastise you? He says, Anymore. He says, Why should you be stricken anymore? He's asking you a question. Because the Lord, throughout centuries, throughout, you know, uh, history, man, the Most High has been continuously, continuously uh, having to uh, put us in slavery, put us in captivity, you know, uh, kill us off the family, the peasants, the strongest, you know. In every empire in the world, we basically, we've been through the block. You know, Lord, that's all we consist of. You know, we have a short reign of righteousness, but, you know, we, we have a whooping. You know, but, you know, they balance each other out. Uh, this is why should you be stricken anymore. You will revoke more and more. See, the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Okay? And that's exactly what the result is. Uh, today, man, the whole head is sick and the heart is faint. The one on um, the perverted thoughts, man. Even thinking Christ was, you know, Yahweh Shah was white, man, that's a perverted thought. You know? and, and the heart is faint because the mind, the mind can't perceive understanding, it can't perceive the words of the Most High. You know? Says from the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. See that? But wounds, says, and bruises of uh, uh, putrefying sores, said they had not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with one. So Israel is like, in two thirds, it's like a, a Open flesh wound, a scab that that won't that won't uh, heal. You know, that's 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 uh, pussing out. You know, that's how the Lord sees you, and it has to literally be done away with. And it does purify the tool of this body. You know, so with that being said, um, we just try to keep it going. This is a uh, proverbs. This is uh. Uh, 10 and 23. Smart. It says, it is a sport. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief. But a man of understanding has wisdom. You know, and that's exactly what you, you black guys do in America. And it's a sport for y'all to do wicked. It's a sport for y'all to kill your own brothers and sisters. It's a sport for y'all to hate your own. You know, it's a sport for y'all to be perverted. It's a sport for y'all to be homosexuals and faggots, lesbians. Mm -hmm. It's a sport for y'all to defy the most high and power. You know, that was shot. You know. It's a sport for y'all to turn and be backwards completely. It's a sport for y'all not to even believe in the most high. This is verses uh, 
same chapter, chapter 17, Proverbs, Proverbs, uh, Proverbs uh, 23. Oh, so like, uh, Proverbs 17, 10. It says, A reproof entered more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. You know, and, and that's why that's a perfect example. Because also the young brothers in the church, we reproved a lot. We get rebuked a lot. You know, but it's the ability. So the Lord is just saying, you know, proof into more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. So why even bother trying to give y'all the truth? If it's only hindering you from what you want to do, which is wickedness, or which is the polar opposite of the most high. So like like I said before, man, we're not here to, to hold the two thirds in. We're not here to hold y'all in. Your destruction is not. It's right around the point. All the scoffing, you know, all the bickering, the talking back and forth. Uh, we're only going to deal with it. Right? It's just, it's going to be, there's, there's your storm. It's already there's your storm. Your destruction is not. Fourteen and sixteen. It says a wise man fear. You know, that's 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 oh, the spirit of Yahweh. Um, the brothers do have that fear and that love of Most High. You know to do, uh, you know those things that He required us to do. But, you know, it says the wise man fear and departed from evil. So that's why we keep, that's why we read, that's why we study. Because it keeps us away from evil. It says, but a fool rage see that? The fool rage in his confidence. So you confident in your wickedness, you're confident in the being, in being defiant, and being set, set on edge by your own lust, you know, your own, your own belief, you know? Oh, I'm a God, I'm a five percent. We are God. Man, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. You niggas might you might as well just tuck it in, I mean, and call it a fucking lifetime because it's over. Uh let's see, uh, Proverbs 14 and 20. The poor poor is hated even of his own neighbor. But the rich have many friends. Like, right, now, these scriptures I'm just throwing out their name. Probably not the order. But, um, what the scripture say, the poor is hated even of his own neighbor. So, even our own people hate us. You know, um, even though we have the truth. So, but the rich have many friends. You know, the rich is, uh, you know, you say the rappers. Uh, or anybody that's prominent in this society, man, that's well off. Y'all believe in them more than y'all believe in the truth. And the scriptures plainly say that. You know? That's why the most high, that's part of the reason why the most high ain't even, the, the truth ain't even open up to y'all. Man. It's not opening up. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 13, verses 23. It says, when a rich man, I mean, it's like Ecclesiasticus chapter 13, verses 23. It says, when a rich man speaketh every man but holdeth his tongue, and look what he said and extolled it to the clouds, and they uplift that shit, and they hold that dear and near to their heart. It says, but if the poor man speaks, say that they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. You see that? You know, that's what that's what our people do, man. Because we don't come with these prominent speeches. You know? We know we're supposed to be perfect. You know, uh, we we you know, we tend to stumble on words. You know, and that's what the scriptures say, with stammering lips. You know. 
who's going to be uh, speaking to you. I just got a couple quick ones for you. It's Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 9, verses 16. I'm trying to get this quick for you. Um, Ecclesiastes 9 and 16 it says, uh, Then said I, it says, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. See that? And his words are not heard. Um, yeah, so our, our words aren't heard because, you know, the truth is despised. That's what really, that's what it really boils down to. The truth is despised because our uh, niggas have no, no knowledge or the heart to retain, retain knowledge. You know, so. That being said, um, this is, uh, I get a uh, proverb uh, chapter three from. Huh.